There we go. All right now. All right. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings, 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 everyone. <clears throat> everyone on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and the Zoom. It's nine o'clock. There we go. It's, it's the nine or or nine o'clock, that is. Uh, got y'all on uh, Clubhouse. Facebook, Instagram, and also on Zoom. That will be converted to YouTube. And uh, also will be put on WhatsApp as well. Freedom NGO group, that is. How everybody doing? I hope everybody having a great night. Me and my wife just got some shocking news of a, a good friend of ours that, that uh, we just found out passed. Just found out. I, mean, I say literally just found out. Just before I uh, loaded everything up and uh, cut everything on, we just found out a friend of our past, um, Miss Sibby. We hope you rest in peace. We love you. And, um, you know, I don't tell the condition, the condition, whatever it was, was, was what it was. But, you know, just give some honor to uh, Miss Sibby. You know, we just throwing that out to her. Other than that, Welcome to Mikael's Knowledge of Truth. This is every Monday. Every Monday uh, is Mikael's Knowledge of Truth. Every Wednesday is Freedom NGO Group. Uh, NGO stands for Non-Governmental Organization. And both of them is at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. You're welcome to join. Um, the post is in the link, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook. I know on uh, Instagram, you can't really... You probably have to uh, dub it or something like that. I know you can't actually click the links in Instagram, but um, you can probably go to a post, uh, hit the uh, hit hit one of the hashtags, go to one of the posts, and you can go into the um, the Zoom from there, or you can just go into YouTube, uh, one of the YouTubes, and go into the go into the description area. Let me do this real quick. Uh, put that do not disturb sign there. There you go. Check you out real quick. Oh, sorry about that. Instagram, make sure I get no same over here. You already own, so we good. So, um, just inviting you to uh, Mikhail's Knowledge of Truth on Mondays and Freedom NGO Group on Wednesdays and both are both have two different links. So that's just to let you know. We have two different links for both um groups or what have you. And also um I do have the Patreon link on here as well now. Um right down there where the name, number, email and every other all the other information is. The Patreon information is there in case you want. I just got it. I mean I just got it uh set up. Uh, because I'm planning on sharing a lot of information. If you had, if you haven't heard um, the information I shared last week, um, if you haven't heard the information I shared last week, there's some very important information I'm about to start letting people know uh, how to protect themselves. You know, and it's all about the knowledge. We all got to start growing in the knowledge, right? So as we start to grow and now that we start to know, we start to help each other. We start to build as a people and also as a nation. So it's time for us to start building, um, building for ourselves, help ourselves out, uh, building in, in many different ways. And uh, also, I noticed uh, on, even though I, uh, when I record on Zoom, I play my music and I noticed when I converted to YouTube, they erased Excuse me. Excuse me. They erased my um they erased the, the uh music in the background. So that's just to let it be known. So like sometime I'm playing, because I'm gonna start playing my theme song, which is the song I promised the creator that when I went through my spiritual awakening, 
Well, it's just one. Uh, that when I went through my spiritual awakening, just this is the song that came from that, and I call it "Repent." But other than that, um, trying to see how I'm going to do this because usually I have the music on while I'm doing this, just like what was just playing. <laughs> ah. You know, so uh, and this is more like a small interlude, at least about, about five or ten minutes into before I get started. Uh, you know, I, I introduce and uh, tonight is um, I ended up going over some scriptures earlier today, and um, tonight I was going to speak on, speak out of uh, Ezekiel chapter seven, the wicked, the wicked. Ezekiel chapter 7 and the righteous, uh, Isaiah chapter 40, uh, 1 through 17. Uh, because 18 on through, it speaks about other things that's happening of idolatry. So just mainly these points that I was just going to speak on. So I'm going to kind of make this quick tonight. Not quick, I'm going to be in the scriptures tonight. But um, other than that, uh, on Wednesdays, uh, believe me, start stick run because I'm about to share some information that's going to be sharing. And a lot of people going uh, uh, I'm going to be sharing information that the people are going to need to know. But like I say, I only can bring it to you. It's up to you to accept it or reject it. So, this is to clear the air and to clear the way before I get started. It's called a singing bowl, which I usually start everything off with, kind of clear the air. And also, and also um, for right here, great start with a prayer. Bliss be thou, Father of the universe, that bring forth all living creatures forth from the earth. Bliss be thou, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bliss be the Father of Israel. Bliss be the Father to our tribe of Israel. Father, thank you for all you've done, been doing the plan. Do we ask you keep keep us in your wisdom, your knowledge, your word, and your way? We ask you keep giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, life, health, and strength, food, shelter, and clothing. Let us be happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, and prosperous in all that we do. We ask you to keep your arm of protection around us at all times. We ask you to keep us in your way and in your word and allow us to accept your way and your word when it comes. We have been tricked these many years and eons and centuries in the lives that have been told. Allow us to accept the information and the word and the ruach when it comes. Father, also forgive us of our sins and our trespasses that we have done in time past, today's time, and time to come. The trespass of our ancestors and the trespass of our people that we're doing and the wicked things we're doing in this day and time. We also, Father, uh, we send a special request out to Miss Miss Sivy since she has passed. Watch over her, her soul. Watch over her spirit. Watch over the spirit of all those that are sick and afflicted out there in the world today. That needs your help, your your help and your help and your way, Father. We ask you to watch over them all and watch over us and help us in every way, in many ways, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, financial, or spiritual. Help us all in every way and in all these things we pray. Hallelujah. 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 All right. That's my man over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going ahead and, and, and go ahead and um, play my hook up. I like this, though. This right here is my song called Repent. 
And uh, this is what I went through when I was in Europe. So I'm starting this off before we get started. And the reason why I'm saying repent is because there's things that people don't even realize that they're doing today that we need to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like something happens. Mike, you ain't cut your witch calm, I know. Uh oh. There we go. I was trying to cut it down. And that's what happened. It was kind of loud. Sorry about that, y'all. And the sin. You pick up the Bible and you'll know this. Read it, read it, read it, and you'll go. Start at Genesis and read all three, and you will see the things you should do. Inside your head, if you didn't know, you confess you're a sinner, then you will draw back. You have to be true in your heart. Hands and praise, soul, your son, to get it closer to the Lord and truth. You take one step, you take two. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligations. Repent. Repent. Repent for thine obligations. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligations. Because they don't will be at an end. I'm only doing this because when YouTube come on, they may not hear the music in the background. So that's why I'm saying it. They say there's no sin, but grace, I tell you, they lie with haste. These false prophets deceive you. Did you know the world was Hebrew from the tower of Babel? The whole world became scrambled. No man can die for your sin. If you don't read, you can't comprehend to begin the life of eternity. Do no sin and you will see. You will have that eternal tree, but the healing starts internally. Repent for thine obedience. Repent for thine obedience. Repent for thine obedience. Repent. Repent, repent for thine obligations. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligations. Because if you don't, we'll be at the end. Repent for thine obligations. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligations. Repent, repent, repent for thine obligations. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligations. Because if you don't, we'll be at the end. How can your grace from sin read the commandments? And then you'll learn a whole new way to live for the Lord. Each day there's more commandments. Then just in the first five books is ready to begin. All through the Bible, they show that the law of Moses is the way to go. Then the prophets will show to study and to know what is on your neck when it's time to bleed because you be told and then to keep the commandments are the only way. This is the reason why I say, why I say, why I this is the reason why I say. Obligance, repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligance. Repent, repent, repent for thine obligance. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligance. Because if you don't, we'll be at the end. Repent for thine obligance. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligance. Repent, repent, repent for thine obligance. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine obligance. Because if you don't, we'll be at the end. Read Isaiah chapter 59 and Ezekiel chapter 18. Read Isaiah chapter 59 and Ezekiel chapter 18. Repent for your obligations you owe to the Creator. Repent for your obligations you owe to the Creator. Only reason I sung it is because on YouTube, the music may not have been heard, so I just sung it out. And I really didn't sing it. I mean, it was saying it. Because when I sing, I say it at a higher pitch, and I be shouting just like I did when I went through my spiritual awakening. When I woke up out of my sleep saying, repent blind obligance uh, when I was in Europe. And that was my fifth day of fasting. I went cold turkey. I did a study. Went through some things. And this is where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. So now, since we're here, around 
So since we're here, uh, it's a lot going on today. And this is some, just some information I wanted to share. Um, I was reading and and I'm planning on doing, but I'm trying to see how I want to put this. I'm planning on doing um, those who lead the captivity will go into captivity. That's the plan. Soon. I'm bringing that one out soon because people don't even realize how, man, my where my eyes at? Oh. I just thought about it. Hey, baby! Get in the kitchen. I don't know if my glass is upstairs. Yep. Oh, she downstairs. Can you go upstairs and see if my glass is on my table? Thank you, because I know I ain't had them with me all day. Might have left them on my table. By the bed. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I'm sorry. But like I was saying, we in a day right now, when the, when the, a lot of people don't understand prophecy, when the, when, when the father speaks and the father gives uh, information, he gives this, he gave information in the time past. And when he gave the information then, people look at it as it happened back then. It's a lot of things that look like was it was said back then that it was meant for today, like in today's time. Like I was sharing, um, like I was sharing uh, 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 last week when I was sharing that um, uh, in Jeremiah chapter three, when it talked about I'll take one of a city and two of a family, and I'll bring you back to Zion. And before that, it was just speaking of uh, uh, of how Israel, how Israel. Uh, um, how it said Israel was, was more better than, than treacherous Judah. Judah was worse than Israel. Uh, but Israel and I also shared that Israel got scattered. Israel got scattered. Uh, the nine and a half tribe got scattered. Judah, Benjamin and the half tribe of Levi, was the ones that always left and came back. And I shared that, right? And um, in sharing that, in, but when you go to Jeremiah chapter 3, it was actually talking about the land of the north. A lot of people think it was talking about Samaria. The land of North, this is the land of the North, North America. This is where we are. North America. And a lot of times it was spoken of, but the people, so, and, and the problem that I be trying to get people to understand, they look at this as just a book of time past. This is talking about the future of today. And one thing I wanted to share with you is just because some things that said back then, do you know history repeats itself? Things, oh, that's what I was going to bring out too. That was what I was actually going to talk about, but it slipped my mind. And I came across to what I was going to read tonight. So I'm still going to go with what I'm talking about tonight. But I'm going to, I, ooh, I feel like going on that now. I feel like going on that right now. Um, because it shows where we're at today, according to time past. But I'm going to give you a snippet. Y'all may jump on it and understand what I'm saying when I, when I say this. But I'm going to give you a snippet. And I might do this next Monday. See, NGO. A uh, Wednesday is for the stuff that's going on. I'm talking about dealing with the courts, dealing with the system, the, the, the all the stuff that's going on with the, the system situation. But according to the things that has happened to us, it's still all of it is prophecy. Talking about the thing that has happened to us, this is what I'm showing in scripture. Like right now, like like I said, this is what I was going to talk about. It slipped on my mind, it slipped my mind, but I may talk on it next week since I already got laid out. Where I was, well, not really laid out. But what I came across my mind to speak on today. So I'm going to try not to be long with what I'm about to say. But what I'm going to share with you is this. Like I was just saying, history repeats itself according to scripture and according to prophecy. See, some things may have happened. And we may look at it happening back then, but that whatever may have happened back then is happening today. And prime example, prime example. Remember when the children of, eat, when the, when, when the, uh, children of Israel would put like this. Remember with Joseph, now I'm going with scripture, whether you believe it or not, whoever you are, this is where I'm at. And if you're here, you're here for a reason to understand what I'm sharing. When Joseph was in charge of Egypt, he was the only one, he was up under Pharaoh. Pharaoh was in charge, but he was the man under Pharaoh. He was the main leader. He was actually the king, truthfully, because Pharaoh put him in charge. It's just that he was just ruling. But, um, Joseph was actually 
king, if you look at it, and if you look at it in the right sense. But remember how the, how, how the Egyptians sold themselves to um, Pharaoh? Remember how the Egyptians sold? And what I'm trying to get you to understand is this. Even though Joseph was sold to Egypt and he had to become and quote unquote an Egyptian, might as well say kind of, he was still he was still Israel, just like we are today. He was still an Israelite by blood, but his mannerism and his showmanship and everything else was according to Egypt. Right? Because that's where he grew up. Same with oh man. I don't know how this is gonna go. Man, because I'm just, I, you know me, I go with the flow, I go with the spirit. I let the spirit lead and guide me. So if this does change, whatever, it goes the way it's going. And forgive me, not forgive me, I got to go the way it's going. But because it's coming to me and this is the way it's coming, I got to give it the way it's coming. Um, No different when our people, the ones that's in the authority of Egypt, no, I'm saying when I say the authority, I'm talking about the people that's of the corporation. See, I'm going into to nothing. Just keep it flowing, Mike. The ones that is of Egypt, the, the cops, the judges, the 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 uh the officers, the the anybody that's a part of the corporation, and that's by this part of the corporation is just like in a sense they have grown to be like Joseph in many different ways in many different areas. They have become in the state of Joseph under the corporations. I got to put it because it's coming. It's coming. I got to put it the way it's coming. And Joseph, see, at the time past, Joseph did it for a good reason because the father, the father was with Joseph. The creator was with Joseph because Joseph has already seen in dreams uh, when he was a child that, that he was going to be charged and 11 stars bowed to him. The sun, moon, the sun, moon, and 11 stars bowed to him, right? They, uh, they, a lot of was was upset. His brothers and, and, and family was upset with him because he told him the dream. And uh, prophesy, that was a prophecy of him being in charge in Egypt, and he saved his family, and, and that's where his family grew in, in Gotham, in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? In the land of Egypt. So that's where Israel grew at being saved from the famine. If you understand prophecy and you understand signs, you can see what's going on. Now, Joseph was in charge under Pharaoh. But remember, Joseph was Israel. So he had favor, put like this, Israel had favor under the Pharaoh because Joseph was Israel. And this being Joseph's family, this family had favor. So if you think about it, this family didn't sell themselves to um pharaoh the egyptians sold themselves unto pharaoh right the egyptians sold themselves unto pharaoh Man, let me, well guess what i gotta go where i'm going y'all let me go there i'm sorry i apologize i'm gonna go i got to have to change i'm gonna have to change the title but i gotta go there oh god genesis all right I, and you know what i haven't looked it up i just knew what what but let me get to where I gotta go. Let me find it. I gotta find the story, y'all. Um, because I hate for people and to his brethren. What is your occupation? Okay, that was 47. Jacob's family before that. Uh his father. Hold on. J Jacob's prophecy concerning his sons. That's 49. And I always share that with y'all. Brought them about Israel stretch. Hold on. Joseph, Jacob, Jacob, Eastern Vanessa. Uh huh. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I had that already. Had everything set up. Oh boy. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna have, I don't want to go, go through looking at this, trying to get everything together. But, um, dang, man. And they were, okay, I, 
presence of Jacob presented to Pharaoh. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, the famine. Okay. Talk about the famine. Seven years. I wanted to get to the point where they sold themselves to Joseph. The, the, the Egyptians sold themselves unto Joseph. Mm. And I don't want to hold y'all up, but y'all, I might, I might have to come back to this story anyway. Yeah, because I ain't got everything set the way I wanted to have it set. Nope, I ain't got it set the way I wanted it set because now I got to look for now. And I know the, see, I know the story, I know the story. Um, mm -mm, this is all about. I'm, I'm seeing everything about. Joseph and, and his brother and things like that. But I'm talking about when the, the Egyptians sold themselves to Pharaoh. When they sold themselves to Pharaoh, that's what's going on with our people today. Thank you, baby. Thank you, sweetie. My baby got my glasses, y'all. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I don't know how I be I thought I had him in here on the table. So, y'all, what I was going to do is, and then now y'all can look forward to This is going to be next Monday. I'm going to break down and show you how we as a people are in the same place that we was then. But now it's not us. It is us. But what I'm saying is we're not in the place we was at the time of Joseph at that time. Because Joseph had favor in Pharaoh's sight, but Joseph had, he took care of his family. Now we are like the Egyptians. Now we as a people are like the Egyptians sold into the system. We're sold to the system in this day and time. And by being sold to the system, this is where the birth certificate and social security card come in, come in at, as the trust. And all the funds that they sold themselves to and gave all to Pharaoh, that's what our people did. When you gave your, when you signed your, uh, 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 when you gave a birth certificate and social security card over to the system, they, they got all your goods and, and everything under it. So much that goes with that that people don't know. But what I'm trying to say is that we're sold to we're sold to Egypt as a people. We have to come out. And right now we're in the day of being free. We're in the day of being free. But now it's not, it, it, it's each individual have to be free because you have to start learning the law, the real law, which is the creator's law and this system law. See, when you learn this system law, you turn this, let me let me let it go. I mean, giving y'all information. If y'all checking my information out, y'all don't know. But if y'all ain't checking it out, y'all ain't gonna know. And I've been trying to share with you and show you and give you the understanding of what's going on. So I shared that to share this. Well, thank you. It must not be meant for me to do it right now because I was, that's what was on my mind to do. I didn't prepare for it, but what came to my mind was what I'm gonna go go back to, which is uh Ezekiel chapter seven. And Isaiah 40 and Isaiah 40. And as uh, Ezekiel 7, the wicked. Ezekiel chapter 7, the wicked. Always start off with an interlude. I guess that was pretty good to start with. Just to let y'all know what's coming for next week. Next Monday, that is. Next second day of the week. Ezekiel chapter 7, that's uh, a few verses in there. That's why I want to go ahead and get started. I call, I'm call. i calling this uh, Ezekiel chapter 7. Uh, this is for the wicked, and Isaiah 40 is for the righteous, the first 17 verses. But Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1, the judgment upon Israel. Now, this is what I mean. This is what I mean, what I'm about to share with you. What I'm about to share with you is what I'm talking about at what has happened, what's going on, and what's happening now. Now, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1 says, Moreover, the word of Yah came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, see, son of man, that's who we all are. We all are son of man. Thus saith Yah unto the land of Israel, unto the land of Israel, and in and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now you see, you say four corners of the land. You could say four corners of the earth. 
See, right there, you say land, people thinking of the land there. But the land is the whole earth. Like I said, if you think about the, the creator, he's out. If you think about the creator is, is beyond the, the ferment. So he be looking at it, he's talking about the folk. We always talk about four corners of the earth. But some people looking at four corners of just the land. See what I'm saying? When you put the perspective together, you can see what's happening. Um, now the end, say, and end, the uh, the end has come upon the four corners of the land. Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon uh, upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways. According to your ways, you will be judged. Individually, we, we already been judged as a nation. We've been kicked out. But now it's coming individually because those who individually keeping the law, and this is what I mean by the wicked and righteous. A lot of people look at this and they put everybody in the same boat. Everybody's not in the same boat. The Father is going to judge you according to who you are, if you're righteous or if you're wicked. And if you can use the same whole chapter about Ezekiel chapter 14, the first, uh, the first 11 verses is for the wicked. The um the 12th through the 23rd verse is talking about the righteous, and then it talks about the pestilence, the uh plague, the uh sword, and the animals against the wicked. That's Ezekiel 14, excuse me. But verse 3: Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways. And will recompense upon recompense upon thee all thine abominations. We said he's gonna put up your say your abominations, he's gonna he's gonna judge you by them. Verse 4. And mine and mine eyes shall not spare, not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thy upon thee, upon thee, which is upon you, and thine abominations shall be. In the midst of thee. That means whatever you have done, your, your abomination should be either in the midst of you, like you have swine flesh in, within you, or just around you. It could be either in the midst of you or in the midst as in around you. Uh, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and, uh, and ye shall, and ye, which is you, shall know that I am Yah. Verse 5. Thus saith Yah, thus saith the Creator. And evil and only evil, behold, is come. Y'all hear that? And evil and only evil, behold, is come. And that is what has happened to us in time past. Let me put it over here, baby. That is what happened to us in time past, in today's time, and what is happening to those. And what is and what is happening um, to those that has been doing evil all this time. This is mine right here. But you can put me some more water in there. Huh? You can give me some more water here if you don't mind too. Um, the more, um, I'm sorry. Verse five, thus said the Lord God, and evil and only evil behold is come. Verse six, and end is come. The end is come. It it watches for thee. An uh, end watches, watches for thee, for you. Behold, it is come. The morning, say, the morning is come unto thee. Oh, thou that dwellest in the land, the time is come. Man, this sounds bad. The day of trouble is near, and not the and not the sound, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Thank you, baby. Let me, now, let me read verse 7 again. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Verse 8. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee. Shortly pour out my fury upon thee. All right? Think about that. He said shortly. Think about this. Now, you know, the creator is, in, uh, is infinite. He already told you that we're going to be in bondage 400 years. Around this 400 years is a short time. 
But it was a, oh, oh I, I'm glad I just said that. I mentioned that. A lot of y'all think, and I hope y'all, a lot of y'all are listening because I'm sharing this with you. A lot of y'all think that we were supposed to be freed after the 400 years. Nowhere in scripture it said that. It didn't say that in scripture. What it said is, it said, no for surety the dicey shall sojourn in a land that's not theirs, and they shall be in bondage 400 years. Then I will judge that nation. He didn't say you was going to be free. He let it be known in 400 years. Now, I hope a lot of y'all are listening, because a lot of people got this off and they going in their own head. Scripture say one thing, people saying something else. He said, no for surety. If you want to go back and check it, because I'm not going to go over because I have to go over if I read it. But I'm just giving you hypothetically. I'm telling you where to go and what it say. Genesis 15, 12 through 14, the father told Abram, no for surety that thy seed shall uh, so sojourn in land that's not theirs, and they shall be in bondage 400 years. And I will judge that nation. Then afterwards, they should come out with great substance. We don't know when afterwards is. He didn't say he's going to make us free after the 400 years. See, y'all thinking about Egypt back then. See, and that's the same thing what people think when it came to when Moses, the first time Moses was to hit the rock, the second time Moses was to speak to the rock. Y'all remember that? See, this is where you got to pay close attention to what the scriptures say. A lot of people get to talking and don't even know. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people get to talking. They don't know what the scripture actually say. They're too busy talking, going off their own head and not reading and studying and seeing what it say. That's the problem. Now, I just wanted that to be, I wanted you to understand that to understand why I said what I'm saying, why I'm reading what I'm reading right now. Again, verse eight. I Now I will shortly pour out my fury. Now remember, the cup of his fury is Jeremiah 25, verse 15 through 38. If you read it, you'll understand what his fury is. His fury is the Greek and the Roman Empire. But his fury came upon us around the time that he started taking us and the 400 years started to happen. And that's when the whooping really got started for us, according to that prophecy. Now, now I was shortly pour, shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee. That's because we didn't keep the law. Because we didn't keep the law. Accomplish my anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. Still abomination we do it. Not we, because I'm not. As far as I know, I'm not. You know, I always ask the creator to, to, to uh, watch me and I and I watch this and I read to see if I'm doing right or wrong or whatever. So I ain't worried about y'all judging me. I'm worried about the creator judging me. People always pointing the finger and they got three of them pointing back at them. Verse 9. And mine eye and mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine about this right here. So he angry. You can hear the anger in here. If you read just like I've been reading down, you can hear the anger. He mad. That uh that are in the midst of thee, the abominations that are in the midst of thee. And that are okay, let me see. And ye shall know that I am Yah. Uh, that smite us, that's whooping you. You don't know that's me that's whooping you. Behold the day, behold it is come. The morning, the morning is going forth. The rod has blossomed. Pride has budded. See, and that's one thing I wanted to share as well. You see what it said right there in verse 10? I recognized this a long time ago. I never had a chance to speak on it, but I recognized this a long time ago. Behold the day. Behold, it is come. The morning is going forth. The rod has blossomed. We are the rod. Israel is the rod. Pride has budded. The pride has budded through the rod. We are the rod. The pride. The pride. You know what? We got arrogant. We knew that the creator is our all of all. 
we was on top. Imagine a spoiled rich kid. He rich. He doing. He you know he's supposed to, he supposed to live with dignity in a certain type of way. He wants to be like the thugs in the street. He want to go out there and live like the thugs in the street and try to be like them. That's us. We had everything. The father had us. He said, well, you should be a wise and understanding people. If we're supposed to be a wise and understanding people, we're supposed to teach others how to live like us. Not turn and be like them. And that's what our ancestors did. And they, and they was wise to do evil. They started doing stuff that the creator knew they weren't supposed to do. Or they knew they weren't supposed to do according to the law. They knew they weren't supposed to do it. But they started doing stuff against the law, and they were wise because they're going, and, and, oh, okay, I'm just going to get a turtle dove. I'm going to get a, 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 a lamb, an ox, or whatever. I'll sacrifice that. You know? The father said, I, had, I read that last week. Uh, Obedience is better than sacrifice. And see a lot more in there. That, that, that's uh, 2 Samuel 15, verse 12 and 13, I believe. I believe, you know. But you have to do, Jake, um, 1 Samuel, because that was with Saul. 1 Samuel chapter 15. Sometimes I, I, I say things, I recognize that. Sometimes I sit there, I'll be off. So you have to bear with me a lot of time, because sometimes I'll be gone. And sometimes I say, I'll be off, but y'all know where I'm at and what I'm talking about. If you know scripture, you know, excuse me, you can go check it out. Okay. Uh, uh, the blossom of pride has budded. Verse 11. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. See, we're the rod. Israel is the rod. Israel is the rod and the arm that's supposed to, supposed to show the earth, or should I say all nations of the earth, how to live. That's us, Israel, as a people. Violence is risen upon up into a rod of wickedness. See? And that's all a lot of people do out here down there. Wickedness. They're out here doing all kind of lewd and I mean on, on Facebook, mainly on, on Instagram. Boy, all you see is booty. And you see women all, all kind of stuff they doing now. Lewd. They they I'm telling you, they lost. They're lost. This is why I say a wicked and lost generation. All they want to do is show it. They're just trying to be seen. Violence is risen, verse 11, up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of the, nor of any of theirs. That means not them or their people, nor any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. You, be, you won't cry for each other. Verse 12, the time has come. The day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Verse 13. For the seller shall not return to that which he sold. The seller shall not return to that he's uh oh. Although they were yet alive. Although they were yet alive. That way he ain't gonna that's why he ain't gonna make it back to what he sold or what he owned. The seller should not return to that which he sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. If you are living in, in, in sin, living in sin, you ain't gonna you you, you ain't gonna have no assurance of yourself. Which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself. You ain't going to strengthen yourself in the sin of your life. In the sin that you're doing, you ain't going to strengthen yourself in it. Iniquity means sin. Verse 14. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready. But none go up to the battle. Bam, that's me. I'm blowing the trumpet. Trying to get everybody ready to let you know. But none ain't coming. Nobody's paying attention. I'm sharing information. I've been sinning and blowing it for the long. Like Noah's telling people, get ready. It's going to rain. But they laughed at him. But it's more than me out here. I know I'm not the only one, but it's how you bring the information, how you're coming. Because if you're coming in the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, or, or Yahshua, and you're giving him the, the glory, and you put his name by the Father, you're giving him the glory, you're already off. You're off. 
I keep telling y'all, who all keep giving the glory to, to that's just like giving the glory to Ezekiel. That's like giving the glory to um, uh, Jeremiah. Just like giving the glory to Isaiah. That's like giving, even it's like even giving the glory to Moses. He was the closest thing to the Father, but they got the law. But y'all been brainwashed. All you who do that, y'all been brainwashed by the Roman Empire. Isaiah 29, 20, uh -uh. Isaiah 29, 10 through 13. That's where you're at. Need to say, okay, bam. Verse 14. They have blown the trumpet to make all ready, but none go up to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Verse 15. The sword is without, and the pestilence is and the famine within. You see that? You see where that's from? Go to, go to Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 12 through 30, uh, 23. You'll see what the, what the judgment is. You'll understand what the judgment is. It's four sword judgments that the father uses. And he just named three right here. The sword is without. That means, that means the armies or the people that's coming out that, that are that's going to be killing and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. You hear that? It's like the people out there in the street getting shot down by the cops. That's the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. So the field out there is like in the country. You already know how these old hicks do. These hicks and these old KKK, they're out there in the country. They're gonna try to, they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to do you in out there. Just heard some this guy that heard the cops beat this guy up, molesting him and everything, and then shot him in the mouth because he was dating a, a Caucasian. Because he was dating a Caucasian, these cops did that, right? Which is the country. That's the field, but it's still the city. I know Richland. I know of Richland. I stayed out of Mississippi in Richland, in Richland, Mississippi. That's where that happened at. Should die with say, um, he that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. What happened at, at um um at 2020? In 2020. What happened in 2020? In the cities. All across the world though. Y'all got to understand this word. Number 16. But they that escape of them. Shall escape. And shall be on the mountain. Like doves of the valley. All of them mourn, All of them mourning. Everyone for his iniquity. They crying for the, the sins that they have done or the sins that everyone else has done. All hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. Verse 18. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and, and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads. See my head? It was told to me to keep like this. It was told to me to keep my head bald spiritually. And this may be the point because of where we at today. This may be the point because this is this is in scripture. A lot of people, you ain't supposed to cut your head bald. You ain't supposed to get I know what was told to me, and this right here is talking about prophecy of today. Verse 18 again. They should they uh they shall. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth. There are going to be certain type of clothing they put on. And horror shall cover them. And shame shall be upon all faces. Shame. And baldness upon their head. This right here sounds like it's talking about the righteous here. Or the ones who is being forgiven. Or the ones who is, is repenting. Verse 18. I want to make sure I hold that verse. Verse 18. Oh. Hang on right here earlier. There you go. Right there. Verse 18. I'm going to make sure I hold that one. Let me circle that. 
verse 18 right there. Yep, I'm going to hold that verse. There you go. Now, there we go. Now, verse 19. They shall cast their silvers in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. You hear that? Now, this right here. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yah. See, this is the day of the wrath. See, see, this is the day of the wrath. This is before now. The day is a new day, but this was in the time past, and they, and and they gold and stuff wasn't going because they was taking them hostage. They was they were selling them off. They was taking their gold from them, like in Deuteronomy twenty eight. This was at a certain time. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall not, their gold shall be removed, which is our, you know, go, if y'all know gold, the gold is all over the all over the world now. Uh, these Caucasians have stolen the gold, and they have them in many places all over the earth. Y'all know that. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them. In the day of the wrath of Yah, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. It's the stumbling block of their iniquity. That means that the gold, silver, and all, they, they, they was rich. They had everything. They couldn't sell themselves. They, you know. You do sin for so long, you're going to get caught up in it. And ain't no way you're going to be able to get out. Can't even buy yourself out. Verse 20. As for the beauty of the ornaments, he said, he said in the majesty, he said it in majesty, but they made the, the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. See that? As for their beauty, of his ornaments, he said it in majesty. He said it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. He said it far from them. And I will, verse 21, and I will give it unto the hands of the strangers. Did I not say that? Did I not just say that? They've taken our stuff and they've taken our gold and stuff and they've, they've taken it across the world. They set it up like it's theirs. They changed everything, the whole city. Listen, this is Yah's fury. You connect this right here with Jeremiah 25, verse 15 through 38. You got to see it. I have eyes, and I have eyes to see y'all. I'm trying to guide y'all so y'all can check it out, but it's up to you. Verse 21. And I will give it unto the hands of the stranger for a for a prey and to the wicked of the earth, see, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall pollute, they shall, they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them and they shall pollute my secret place. Mm. Talking about the temple and everything else. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. What city? All cities. Not just any. See, when you say the city, when you say the city, a lot of people think like one city. Well, I could be in this city. We're talking about, talking about that city over there. Oh, that city over there. Oh, that, that city over there. All cities. Because that's where it's going on at. Verse 24. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, uh-oh, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pump of the strong to cease. And their holy places, their holy places shall be defiled. Their holy places shall be defiled. All the groves and things like that in the time past. 
Same thing with today. Same thing that's going on continually, one time after another. And if you understand, I've shared in time past, if you go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 14, when the father say he's going to use the pestilence, the plague, the plague, the pestilence, the, the sword, and the animals, he used them continually. It's not just one time. It continually happened until this earth becomes utopia. It's going to continually happen until everything, all the evil is wiped off. These are things that's going to continue to happen. But people look at this and only thing going to happen one time, but y'all can't see inside the story to see what's happening around you. Thank you, Father. Wherefore, again, 24, wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease and their holy places shall I defile, shall be defiled. Verse 25, destruction cometh, okay? Warning comes before destruction. The warning has been, the father kept telling them by getting the prophets, and it was like myself, sharing information, sharing information, sharing them. People ain't listening. They ain't listening. They ain't listening. You try to tell them, they not listening. And then you know something? It's going to be too late. You hear this story right here? This story right here, he was mad. And to be truthful, the 400 years is up. Now judgment is happening. Judgment is happening for those who still don't want to turn. People, you've had mercy. You've had mercy for those who has been going through certain things, have been slidden and sliding by. You had mercy. The Father got angels around you. But pretty soon, that mercy is going to be gone. Y'all don't straighten up and fly right. It's over. And that might be the reason why I'm reading this tonight. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. There shall be no peace. And we already know how it is with us. Every time, like I'm talking about, cops coming by, they they scared because they see the cops. They see them blue lights, boy, they stay they, nervous. And especially within these last five years, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 9, 23. We don't know how these cops out here doing these people. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there it shall be none. Verse 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they not. Okay. This right here reminds me of uh, Matthew 24 and 25. There should be wars and rumors of wars. I told you how they get everything from, from here. I'm not saying that it's not true because it is true. I mean, truth is true. Well, they took it here and put it in the New Testament. If it's facts, it's facts. But you got to know where the manipulation and the, and, and, and the subliminal message and uh, a manipulation comes in there for to guide you off and start believing in something that's not. That's why you got to come here in the old to find the facts. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. See that? What prophet? The prophet in the New Testament. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. But no, that's Jesus, the son of God. Huh? You see it right here? It said they shall seek a vision of the prophet. See, the vision right here. I'm telling you, prophet. I'm pro I'm showing you the prophet right here who gave the vision. It was just restated again in the New Testament. It was restated. Majority of the stuff up there that was restated was statements came from back here. You just gotta look through the scriptures to find out what certain things that was said. Because majority, majority, a lot of that up in the New Testament came from back here in the first place. But if you don't study, you don't know. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall say, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel of the ancients, and and uh and counsel from the ancients. Now, what priest? At one time, we called the Pharisees and Sadducees the priests, ran, right? At one time, you, you just shared with you right here. But the but the law shall perish from the priest. 
they start going with traditions from the Jewish community. Jewish community. And the council from the ancient, the ancient, the council was from the ancient, which is the elders. The elders knew council. They knew how to sit back and they gave you wise, correct wisdom. You know, you have a lot of, and I apologize for me saying this, but I have to say, like I said, we got a lot of old fools today. A lot of old, then you got a lot that just don't know too much of nothing because they haven't really lived anything. They lived this lifestyle, this, this, this Greek old woman, Roman Empire lifestyle, so they got the mind of the Roman Empire. That's when you say, I'm going to judge that nation. That nation is not just people think Caucasian, it's us as well with the mind of the Romans. Mindset. That's the point. It's the mind. Where your mind at is who you are. If you are following this Roman tradition and, and, and the satanic ways, that's where your mind is at. Not knowing it. Verse 27. The king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with desolation and the hands the prince. You know who the prince is, right? We. Israel is the prince. The king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with desolation and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way and according to their uh, their deserts will I judge them, their deserts, shall I say. I will do unto them after their way and according to their deserts will I judge them and they shall know that I am Yah. A lot of people get things done to them because of what they have done. And some of them be like, well, why is this? Why is that? You know why? A lot of time it come back to your mind. Now, let me get now let me hit to uh to the righteous. I mainly gave you that because that's what came to me. That I really was looking for something in there, and I started reading. I said, okay, that's it. I gotta read this today. But y'all can y'all y'all can look for uh Y'all know what to look for next week. I just shared it with you. Okay. Now, because I was specifically looking for something, that's the reason why I ended up coming across what I'm on right now. So by me being on what I am right now, this is the way it came. I bring it the way the Spirit gave it to me, y'all. Now, this is part two of tonight's information. And this is, I like to call this part, this is for the righteous from this point. There's a lot more throughout the book I can share and say that, but this is why I came across for the first 17 verses. Matter of fact, let me see something. Okay. Dang, it was all, it's an hour already. I guess I did have enough time to share with y'all then. Okay. Verse of chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 40. Now I'm calling this part the righteous. This is for the righteous. And what I mean for the righteous is because now this is where he put like this. This is where he was mad at in the beginning, put us through the 400 years. This way, put us through the 400 years. Now we have been whooped. Now, you know how it is like, like if you whoop your child or something like that. A lot of y'all probably don't whoop your child, but you feel sad about that. Then, you know, you want to comfort them. You're like, come on, baby. Come on over here. Come on, let daddy rub your head, you know. Let me give you a little some piece of candy or something, you know, because you love them. You love your child. Excuse me. Now, this is like after the whooping. Maybe you have gotten straightened out a little bit. And right here, this, this the title of this is Comfort Through Trust in Yah. See, now we have to trust him because now he done whooped us by us going through the situation through the Roman Empire, through our enemies. Through the stuff they said in, in uh, Psalm chapter 83. All these different nations that came against us. Not only that, and then let the hound dogs on us, which is the Greek and Roman Empire who, 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 who went over the whole world. They, they covered the world. They DNA is in almost every nation across the earth. 
And you know what I mean by DNA, that cell, that, that sperm cell. That's why a lot of these nations look so Caucasianly, so Caucasian, so cauc so caucus. I'm gonna say that. I ain't gonna say no the other W word. They ain't white. Chapter 40. This is for the righteous. Or should I say, for those who the Father is comforting. First chapter, Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, comfort though. Can I get some more, baby? I'm done with this. Comfort through trust in Yah. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, save Yah, save Yah. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. I mean, speak comfortably to Israel. Thank you. Say, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, which is to Israel, and cry unto her that her welfare is accomplished. Her welfare is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned. See, now it's pardoned. The iniquity, your sin, is pardoned. This is where we at now. Thank you, baby. This is where we at now. He, he's pardoning our sins because our ancestors, see, and you got to understand, a lot of people now, now I know this coming because I feel it through the phone. Some people like, if, if you ain't said it, it's going to be said. Some people like, well, why we get punished for what our ancestors did? Why? Because we learned what our ancestors taught us. That's why. We didn't try to find out how to find, and if you look, and you, think about it. If you keep doing something wrong until you find how, how to do it right, it's going to always be wrong. Always. If you keep doing it wrong, it's going to stay wrong until you do it right. Just like when a person trying to fix something or trying to invent something, they see how many times they did it wrong until they got it right. If our ancestor did wrong, they kept doing wrong, and the prophets kept trying to come and talk to them, and they wouldn't listen. So, okay, the whooping comes. They stuck in the whooping now because they going so far off left. They so far off left now, they don't even know where right is at. So now, now they get whooped. Oh, now people crying, oh, brother, oh, y'all, oh, y'all, what's wrong? Oh, what, 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 I remember the time Brother Polite on there. Well, if there's a God or whatever, why are we going through this as a people? Why this and this and that? Why this and that? This is why, because we ain't doing the law. And then Christianity has got people so brainwashed, they don't realize they're the Antichrist. Take anity, take the Y off, anity, which is take the Y off, mean anti, and put it in the front, then you got Antichrist. Christ only means the anointing, anointing spirit, and the anointing spirit is the word. The word is the anointing spirit that dwells within you. If you're going against it, you're not doing according to what the, what the word says. So that means that you're going against. Anti only mean against. Against his word. So if you're going against his word, you're still in the same boat as I just shared with you in Ezekiel chapter 7. You got to get understanding. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. But in all thy getting, get an understanding. Why? Because understanding will keep thee. Angela RJ Nanny Wine. I love you too, cuz. Love you too, cuz. <laughs> Just saw that there. Now back, back, back to um the beginning of our comforting. Comfort ye, verse uh verse 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, save Yah. Your save Yah. Speak ye comfortly to Jerusalem, to Israel or Judah but Israel and cry unto the and cry unto her that her welfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she had received the, of the of Yah of Yah's hand double for all her sins see what I'm saying and y'all know what I said with double is if y'all heard, heard me before what I mean by double is First, we lost our land. 
lost our land. Then we lost our heritage. See, we lost our land. When you lose your land, you can be out and you can know where you are, where you're from. But when you lose your land and you don't know where you're at and then you get brainwashed, meaning that you don't know who you are, you call yourself African-American, nigger, and, 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 and Piccadilly, and, and black, and all these other names. That's a double curse. It's one, you ain't, you ain't you don't know where your homeland is. It's the two, when you don't know who you are. That's a double curse. And people don't even get it. For she had received the Lord double, the voice of him that cried in the wilderness, like myself. The voice of him that cried in the, uh, uh, wait, make sure I got that. Verse 2, speak ye company to Jerusalem, to Israel, and cry unto her, that her welfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she had received of the Lord of Yah's hand double of all her sins. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yah, make straight in the desert a highway for our Yah. Now see right there, did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? This right here is talking about us. And they talking about this was talking about John the Baptist. Could have been a John the Baptist out there. Could have been. I don't think his name would have been John. But the point I'm getting at is, could have been a John the Baptist, they say. And then they they supposed to baptize uh, the one they call Jesus, which is supposed to be Yahshua. Could have been. Maybe. I don't know. But I do know this. This is talking about you like what I'm doing right now. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yah. Make straight in the desert a highway for our Yah. This is what, and the highway is speaking the word and people know so you can understand what's going on. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Now, do y'all know what the valley, mountains, and hills are? There are cities, neighborhoods, uh, cities, neighborhoods, uh, um, um, hold on, wait a minute, uh, cities, neighborhoods, and um, you can almost say countries. Mountains is more like, like mountains more like a country. The, um, the um, say the mountains, valley, you know, like valley is like, like, like the, uh, the neighborhood, the cities, where we know what cities is, the city is like the hills. The cities are like the hills. Uh, and hills shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. That means the things that people, the things that we thought, like, like I'm telling you now about this Jesus situation, uh, this Emmanuel situation, this Yahshua situation, the fact that y'all, the, the Isaiah 29, 29. Uh-uh, 20. I don't know why I keep saying Isaiah 29, 29. But I will say this. Isaiah 29, 1 through 13 would say this. I'm going to put this in here. It says, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, uh, 10 through 13. The blindness of Israel. I'm starting with verse 9. I'm just going to read this real quick. I'm not going to really break it down. I'm just going to read it on through. I'm going to give you a little snippet so you can hear it. Isaiah 29, verse 9 through 13. The blindness of Israel. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They are uh, they stagger, but not with strong drink. See, they staggering and they're a little drunk. Why? Because they don't know where they at. They think they know, but they really don't know because they've been told a lie. They've been taught a miss. They don't know what they think they know. Verse 10, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit, the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers he covered, have covered, have he covered. Should I, let me replay that, replay, replay that again. Verse 10, for Yah have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. Verse 11, 
and the vision of all. Who is the all? All of all. The vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned. This is sealed. The book is sealed. Now, this is supposed to be learned. It's supposed to be the priests and the preachers and stuff out there. Here. And the vision of all become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. No, you're supposed to be learned, though. You got the book. Now, I'm breaking down what the book say. But a lot of people saying, every time you say something, oh, this is Jesus, that's Jesus, this Jesus, that's Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. All they Jesus, Jesus, they, they do have Jesus fits. Everything is about Jesus back here. Hmm. Boy, boy, boy. And the vision of all is become unto you the words of a book that is sealed. Men delivered to one that is learned. Which men delivered to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. He said, I cannot, for it is sealed. Verse 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Well, I got the book, but I, I haven't learned it. So you don't even know, but you're reading it. Why you ain't, you, don't, you can't comprehend nothing? You're reading the book, you're reading it. Tell me what it means. I have not learned. It is sealed. And this way it comes right here. Wherefore, Yah said, for as much as this people draw, me, draw near me with their mouth and have removed, uh -uh, drawing me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. See, they talk a lot of mess. Oh, God, yeah, 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 yeah. They talk it all day long. For, for Yah said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their hearts far from me. You know why they move their hearts? Because the law is him. He's the law. But you move your heart far from the law. But y'all talk a good game. Not y'all. Just saying in general, whoever do it. Who? Their lips do on me, but remove their hearts far from me. And their fear towards me, here's your key, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Guess what men it is? The men who gave you Christianity. The men who gave you Jesus. The men who gave you Emmanuel. The men who gave you Yahshua. Because y'all don't do it in the Father's name. Y'all do it in Yahshua's name. Jesus' name. Emmanuel's name. Uh, Honorable, the, the uh, 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 what's his name, Muhammad, or, or the prophet Muhammad. Any, any person, place, a thing. Thou shalt not honor anything or worship anything in heaven above, earth beneath, or waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. Bow down thyself as in physical or even mental, meaning in your mind. Nor serve them, for I, that God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity upon the fathers, upon the children. That's what we're reading right now. We read about what the fathers did in Ezekiel chapter 7. Now we at the children. Now we at the children. He's getting ready to comfort because now we're coming out of that state because the children is beginning to find their way, like we're doing right now. The children is beginning to find their way. And it states, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. But number 14 is your key. And the same thing you find right here in 14, you'll find in uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 10. What I'm about to read right now is in the same thing you'll find in 34 and 10. Isaiah 29, 14 says, therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of their prudent men shall be healed. Now, let me get back to my story. Back over here at Isaiah chapter 40. Now, 
Where was I at? Chapter 40. And I was over here. The glory of Yah have, have, um, shall be revealed in all flesh of uh, just, uh oh no, I'm right here at four. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Verse five, and the glory of Yah shall be re revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Guess how they gonna see it? In the word, the word. That's his glory. This right here, this word. It's going to be seen upon us because we're going to be living it. Shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of Yah has spoken it. Speaking it right now. Verse 6. The voice said, the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? The voice. The voice said, cry. So he heard a voice. And it said, cry. And what he did, he asked a question. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. Now check this out. I shared something with y'all last week. On, and I, if you didn't see it, go check it out. I got my sign. Time is here. Time is now. I broke down and I shared my with my cousin, uh, uh, Deuteronomy, Revelation 12, 12. And I shared in Revelation 12, 12, when it says that, um, it said, I'm, I'm not a quoter. I'm out here and see how much time I got. I think I'm going to be good. Oh, yeah. 10, 21. I got about 50 minutes. No, not 50. 40 minutes. Okay, check this out. Let me get this real quick. Revelation 12, 12. I'm going to share with y'all what I'm about to read right here. Now, it said that everyone is as grass right here, but I'm going to show you what 12, 12 say. Revelation 12, 12. When I broke this down with my cousin, the spirit gave it to me so, so phenomenal. I was like, man. All right. Right here. Revelation 12, 12. When it says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. We that's in the know that's going, we're growing into heavenly places because we're keeping the creator's word. We're keeping his ways. We're keeping the law. We're starting to do and we're starting to see the comfort. Well, I'm reading right now. We're starting to see, but right here for the wicked. What I read in Ezekiel chapter seven a few moments ago. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Rem imagine this. You know the earth. Now imagine the grass. The grass is the sea of people. This is how I put it together. Woe unto the heavens of the earth and of the sea. Now imagine the earth and you got grass sticking about the earth. Same thing with this. Same thing with this. You got the earth. You got a sea of people standing on the earth. A sea of people. Just imagine looking out. Uh, let, me, let me imagine. What can we say? Let's just say. Um, okay. What place can I say that everybody know about? Uh I put it like this. I remember one thing. You know, out there at the White House, where where all the people stood on the lawn when it was, um, let's say, Million Man March or something like that. It was a sea of people. It was a sea of people. So, same thing as it said right here. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has. Oh, this would put me in mind of something. He know he had but a short time. I was riding down to go get bottles today. I was going to go get some gallons today, right? When I was going to get, I was going to get gallons. They had three. They was like, it, it, they weren't even a fourth of a mile of each other. I had two cops on this side, like here and here, and it was one on the opposite side. You, uh, you riding right through. Jeff, I'm like, dang, what these? They out here, y'all. That's Satan is the system. Satan is the system. And this is what I just read, twelve, twelve. And that, and, and he coming down to the earth. In the sea of people, because he has but a short time, he's going to get everybody who's not in the know. They're, that's the system. But now, I shared that to come back to this. It says, the um, verse 6, the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. All flesh is grass. Look at a field of grass. Same thing I'm sharing with you. 
feel the grass. That's just people. All flesh is grass. Now, where I'm at, and the glory of Yah shall be revealed, and the flesh, uh, 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 yeah, and all flesh shall see it together. Wait a minute, hold on. Come back up, verse 5. And the glory of Yah shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of Yah has spoken it, verse 6. The voice said, cry, and he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, that's verse 6 where I was at. And all the goodness, goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field, see? And all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth. See what I'm saying? So what he's saying, both of them die. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth. Because the spirit of Yah blow upon it. Surely the people is grass. Remember, I'm just talking about the sea of people. Talking about the grass. We all going to pass one way or another. But how you pass. How you're living when you pass is going to be the difference. That's going to be the difference. The grass withereth, the flower favor, but the word of our Yah shall stand forever. The word of Yah shall stand forever. The commandments will stand forever. Forever. Verse 9. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, Almighty. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings. Get thee up into the high mountain. This sounds like a sign to me. Get thee up to a certain place. Get thee up to the um, get thee up to the high mountain, O Jerusalem, which is Israel, O Jerusalem, that bring of good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold, your father, your God, your Almighty, your Yah. That's verse, that was verse 9. And I'm talking to y'all. Talking to our people. I'm trying to let it be known. But it's up to you. I can, I can only say it and spray it. It's up to y'all to get it. Verse 10. Behold, Yah will come with strong, with strong hand and his arm shall, uh, shall rule from him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Yah said, Behold, Yah, Lord God, but behold, Yah will come with strong hand. That means he's going to be sending people to do certain things, somewhat like myself, I believe. And his arm, which is Israel, we are his arm, shall rule from him. We are his arm. Like I said earlier, Israel is his arm. And we're going to have certain people in Israel that's going to be doing the work, like Dr. Henderson. Dr. Henderson. He has done a work. He set up the, the indexing in order for you to be protected. Right? I'm doing the work because he's got your back. I got your front by telling you what to do, but you have to do it. Because there's information I'm about to share with y'all. I'm going to give you so much because I'm putting it out there. It's up to you to get it. O Zion, that bring his good tidings. Get ye up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, which is Israel, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, be your, uh, behold your father. Behold, Yah, and I'm saying it right now as I'm speaking through the air. I'm, the, I'm one of the angels flying through the air, spreading the everlasting, as they say, gospel. You won't find the word gospel before the New Testament. That's why it's called gospel. It's God's spell when you break down the word. It's a God spell in the New Testament. You don't find that word gospel in the old. This is what I mean by studying. You don't find the word gossip. You don't find the word Sadducees. You don't find the word Pharisees. You don't find all that stuff is something made up. Well, just giving y'all that. Okay, I got uh, I read ten already. I'm going to eleven. He shall feed his flock like the shepherd, like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs. It's another point. He shall gather the lambs with an S. Everybody talk about the lamb. This is the lambs with the an S, and I have shared with you time and time again. 
Revelations chapter 5, verse 5 and 6. It's talked about Judah the lion, which is talking about Judah, the tribe of Judah, the lion. And they talk about the lamb, the seven spirits, the seven spirit that was spread throughout the earth. And where is there the seven spirit, spirit spread through the earth in? In the people. I'm probably, oh, it looks like I might have some time to hit that. Hold on. Oh, I got 30 minutes. Hold on. I'm going to hit this, this this right here before going to the, the majesty of the Father. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in them, them, and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Now, let me hit this real quick. Sure, I, I, thought, I thought this was going to be long. Thank you, Father. You give it to me as you need it. As needed. We hit y'all with um, Revelations 5. Now, I'm going to let you understand what the lion and the lamb is. I ain't got too long, so I'm going to hit it from here. I'm going to say verse 5. Because if you read start verse 1 through 5, you'll see that there was nobody open the book at one time, which I just read to you. Man, let me go ahead and read the whole thing because this this coincide with um uh Isaiah twenty nine. It coincide. Go ahead and go ahead and start from verse one. The sealed book, verse five, Revelation five and one. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. Verse two. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. <laughs> that reminds me of something. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? That's verse 2. Verse 3. And no man in heaven nor in earth nor neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon. And I wept much, and I wept much because no man was found, excuse me, no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Now he go into, now it's talking about man. It's say man. I'm about to show you something. Now, this title is The Lion and the Lamb. Now, this is verse 5 and 6. I'm going to break down what the lamb is and the uh, lion is to you. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion, which is the tribe itself, might well say is the tribe of Judah, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. And I keep trying to tell y'all, a root bear a stem. The stem bears, which is the trunk, which is bear branches. Brand, you don't see no tree with one branch that bear one fruit. And if you do, how are you going to eat it? How anybody's going to eat it? A tree bear branches that bear fruit, not just one fruit. Branches. Not one branch, branches. But see, in y'all mind, y'all see something here, y'all can't get to imagine to understand what's really being said. I'm about to go all back. It'll be long drawn out. I ain't going to do all that. One of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of, of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals. Now, the lion is the tribe of Judah, and those who are chosen out of the tribe of Judah, just like it said in Deuteronomy 18, 18, I will raise up uh, from among you a prophet. Now, he said among you a prophet. It wasn't talking about from Deuteronomy all the way to the New Testament. It was talking about like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Jose, uh, Joel, Joel, uh, Zechariah. Uh, Haggai, all these are prophets that rose up out of Israel. All of them. That's why they have the book of the, the, the law and the prophets. The law and the prophets. He put his words in their mouth. 
Every time you see here, it said, thus says the Lord. Who's talking? The prophet, the vessel that the father was talking through. People have no understanding. Now, verse six. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. And in, I was going somewhere. And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. See, it's a stood a lamb. This throw stuff off. Stood a lamb. I'm going to show you what it is. See, y'all see a lamb there, and y y your mind is going somewhere. They don't, they don't read down and see what it's actually saying. Stood a lamb as it had been slain. Who was slain? Children of Israel was supposed to be slain. Remember, they supposed to die for three days and woke back up. We're waking up today. We're in the third day right now. We're in the third day waking up. Being slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits. This is the lamb. The lamb is the seven spirits. The seven spirits within Judah. And let me repeat that again. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Yah sent forth into all the earth. Israel was spread throughout the whole earth. Judah was spread throughout the whole earth. The spirit of the creator, which is the lamb, is within Judah, spread throughout the whole earth. Seven different types of spirits. I'm not going to go into what the spirits are because they, they say spirit, I ain't going to go off into all that because they talk about the uh, the seven fruit of the spirits and this and that. So I don't know if that's it or not, but the point is I'm going by what's said right here. Now let's get back to the story. I show you, I want to show you here a little, there a little, precept upon precept. I'm showing you the facts and, and not the fiction. I'm showing you the facts upon facts and where it goes. Now let's get back to where I was. Oh, that was, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd and shall gather, verse 11 of 40, of, of Isaiah 40. He shall gather the lambs with his ram, with his arm, and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Now, the majesty of Yah, or of the Lord, but I say the majesty of Yah. Now, Said, who has measured the, the waters in the hollow? Now, this, now he's breaking down his magic, the stuff that he has done and who has done it. That might have been the end. I might need to stop at 11, but I'm going to go ahead on to 12. I might on go on, on further down from there, but the majesty of Yah, who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and, and met it, melted out Met it and met it out heaven with the span uh, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighted, weighted the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. See, I'm sorry, you stay, you stay, I stay in the camera. And the hills in the balance. Who had direct the spirit of Yah or, be, or being his counselor have taught him? Right? Who did it? No one. With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding? Who did all this to the Creator? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are are counted as the as the small dust of the balance. See that? He said the nations are kind of as just a flip. Just drop in a bucket or either a drop of a, but just drop in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? They kind of as nothing. With whom took he, uh oh, I'm sorry. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of balance. Behold, he taketh up the, the aisles as a very little thing. You know, verse 16, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Verse 17, all nations 
before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. See, all nations is counted to creator as nothing. He just let it, he let it be known. He just let it be known. What, what could they do? But a lot of people give Jesus, Emmanuel, Yahshua, more praises and stuff than the Father. People don't realize they better straighten up. I gave you repent earlier. It's time to repent. No man can die for your sin. If you don't read, you can't comprehend. Mm, mm, mm. I might go ahead and put that on one more time. I might put that on one more time just so y'all can hear it. Just so y'all can hear it. There we go. I ain't gonna do it right now. Nah, I'm just gonna hold it. Just wanted to get it set. But um I got that. So now let me give you what time is it? Got 15 minutes. Well, actually got 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna give you what people is doing. See, I guess it was meant for me to go on to this because give me a little bit of time. Verse 18. Now we're going into some idolatry. All right. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of idolatry. I'm going to give you a little information, give you, give you some understanding to that. In verse 18, now we're going to idolatry. I just went and gave you the comfort of, of and trust in the creator compared to what he did to us in this day. This is where we're coming into right now. This is where we're growing to what I just shared with you compared to what I began with showing when we went first and went into our demise. When we first went into our demise, all the stuff that has happened to us, now we're on our way out. Now we're turning back to the Father. Now we, but it's still for those who are doing wickedly. The first part is Ezekiel chapter seven still apply to them. This uh, as uh, chapter forty one through eleven applies to those who is changed and repenting or repenting by changing. Now I'm gonna give verse eighteen. To whom then were ye? See, he already told his majesty, he said from, from 12 to 17, he just said, he just gave everybody an understanding. Who taught the creator all this stuff? Who gave him the wisdom to for all the stuff that he has done? No one. Verse 18, it states this. So then, I'm saying so then, but whom will then, whom then, to whom then will ye liken the creator? Who, to whom then would you liken the, the Yah? To whom do you put in the Father's place? That's a question. Or what likeness will ye compare him to? What likeness you going to prepare the Father to? Y'all already doing it to Emmanuel and, and Jesus and, 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 and Yahshua. That's who y'all giving it to. That's who y'all doing it to. Which Y'all in iniquity. Y'all in sin by doing that. But you can take it or leave it. I'm just showing. To whom then will ye liken Yah? Or what likeness will ye compare him to unto him? The workman melted a graven image, and a go and the goldsmith spread it over with gold and cast a silver chain. So you know they make silver chains and they make gold and stuff out of stuff, right? He that is so impoverished that he has no oblation chooses a tree that were not right. Obligance. Oblation. Obligance. Repent for thine obligance. In Proverbs, that he has no oblation, chooseth a tree that were not right. He seeketh unto him that cunning workmen to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. I told you the double curse too. 
A tree that should not rot was the cross. That's what they made the grow. They, they made the cross, which is supposed to be in the tree, which is the crucifix. They made a cross. Now they made an image of a man to put on a cross. That's a double, a double curse. They got a man, an image of a man, which they are God. They're God. You want to call him Emmanuel? You want to call him Jesus? You want to call him Yahshua? You're worshiping him. The fact that you even saying that he died for your sin, you're worshiping him. The father never gave a human sacrifice. And to show the fact of it, to show the fact of it, Ezekiel chapter 20, the first five verses, and not Ezekiel, uh, Leviticus chapter 20, the first five verses shows you that. Whether they did it to the children or anybody, is not we aren't we the children of Israel? If we're the children of Israel, we're still children in the sight of the Father. Why would he give a man to sacrifice when he's against it? The Father don't change. But you know something? These, these scholars is so, is, is so man, they, 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 they so smart, they gone. Isaiah 29, Isaiah 29, taught by men. Where they get it from? The Roman Empire. Roman Empire put that in the head and they stuck. You know something? The sad thing is when you're so busy seeing other people think that they reprobated, you don't even realize you reprobated yourself because you can't see the truth. <laughs> that's, that's the sad part. People are quick to point the finger. Oh, they, they ain't trying to fix themselves because they're too busy pointing the finger under the doctrine that they're learning or they have learned. They think that doctrine is so wholeheartedly strong because another man taught them. Another man taught them what they know. They're going to hold on to it strong instead of saying what the words say. The word is telling you what's what. But hey, I'm only giving you scripture. Um, the worker, verse 19, the workman melted a graven, uh, workman melted a graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over with gold. And and cast and cast it change and cast it silver change. Had to slow down. Verse twenty. He that is so impoverished that he has no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot, which is the cross, which is a crucifix. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. The cross is a graven image. Your Jesus on the cross is a graven image. The man that's on there that won't be moved off that cross because they're together. It's a graven image. Verse 21. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Have you not understood what's about to, what has happened? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. All y'all like little bugs that, that strengthen out the heaven. Uh-oh. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that, um, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain. Well, let me rephrase that because there's a semicolon there. I should have slowed down. And say, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. What's the pause? That stretch them out the heavens as a curtain and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. Verse 23. That bring up the princes to nothing he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Oh, man. I'm almost thinking about the judges we be dealing with. Verse 24. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them. And they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then, verse 25, to whom then would ye liken me, or shall I, or shall be equal? Save Yah, save the Holy One. 
which is Yah. Verse 26, lift up your eyes and on high, and behold, who have created these things that bringeth out their hope, their host by number? He calleth him all, he calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one failure. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? You see that? These are the ignorant who think that they can hide from the creator. They think they can do something and the creator don't see it. That's ignorant, stupid, and crazy. Verse 28, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting father the say Yah, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You can't get past his understanding. Matter of fact, you no, know some I'm so glad I just saw that. Uh, I'm so glad I just saw that. Thank you, Almighty. See, we got so many people so holier than thou. We got so many people so holier than thou. Check this out. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting Yah, everlasting Father, Yah, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. I keep trying to tell y'all all the, 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 all the workers, Jacob's ladder, I didn't share with y'all about Jacob's ladder. Jacob here, the father at the top. The, the, the angels was ascending and descending on and off the ladder. That was everything happening from Jacob all the way to the, to the father and the thing, Marcus Garvey, Mel, uh, uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, uh, 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 Noble Jew Ali, all the different prophets and, 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 and uh, uh, what's in the Harriet Tuck. All these people was doing the father's work. All of them. It got us to where we at today. Because if they didn't get us where we at, we'd still be getting hung. And well, even though they do it, in, they don't do it like it. Time has changed. We're in a whole different era now. Look how we are, 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 are at this point in time. We ain't saying massa, yeah, boss, and all this. We ain't doing that. Look where we at. Y'all don't understand the creator's work, the way the creator works. We are the father, Farrakhan. He's still a worker. He, but you're not supposed to worship each other. You're not supposed to be worshiping uh, uh, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, uh, Yahshua, uh, uh, Emmanuel. None of them. You ain't supposed to worship them. We're not supposed to be worshiping them. I'm so glad somebody, thank you, whoever you are, I appreciate you. Oh, that's my sister, Irene. Show, oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad you're here. I, that's my sister. Hey, tell mom, hey, I tried calling Florine, telling her happy Earth Day. I wanted to say that again. Happy Earth Day to my sister, uh, Florine Nasada. Masada, I believe it is, in Mississippi. Happy Earth Day. Uh, I'm going to say how old she is, but the 20th uh, is her Earth Day today. And, and yesterday was mom's Earth Day. I did call mom, tell them both I love them, Irene. Tell them both I love them. Tell I said happy Earth Day to mom and a uh, happy Earth Day to Florine. Try to call Florine several times a day and didn't catch her. So I'm glad to see you here, sis. Sorry, y'all. I just had to put that out there like that. I didn't know who. I seen them hearts going up. So I had to look over and say, who is this? Okay. That's what I see. This is my sister. But just sharing the information. Everything that has happened up until today has been of the creator. And those has been those people have been the workers of the creator. It's so much that I've been sharing. And if y'all been missing my, my posts and stuff, I got so many different snippets of information showing and sharing about the things that has been happening according to scripture and according to prophecy. And I'm breaking it down. Um, verse 29. He he give a power to the say, he give a party power to the faint and to them that have no might. He, increase, he increases strength. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Isn't that what's going on today? I can, I, I can dance 
I can be some of the, the, the youngest children today out here in the streets, dancing, running, lifting. I could be a lot of them doing that. A lot of them lazy. They lazy. A lot of these children are lazy today. And it shows you right here, it's just saying it. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. They weak. They lazy. Last verse, 31. But they that wait upon Yah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Y'all, y'all got to get in this word, and y'all got to stop worshiping these, these, these men, the prophets, whoever, whatever. It's time to stop worshiping them because you're in idolatry. Keep trying to give you the, sp the spirit speaks for itself through the word, but it's up to you to accept it or reject it. But let me tell y'all, come the midst of the week, I got some more news for y'all. You know, now that's going to be more that that's going to be more on the legal side or, or the, the lawful legal side. Should I say the lawful is what we're reading here. This is law. But a lot of this is I'll be sharing on on, on the, on the non-governmental organizational NGO group is more on the legal side. What is supposed to be legal, actually what is illegal that they're doing. It's unlawful what they're doing, should I say, which is, makes it illegal. So let me see how much time I got here. Well, I'm here. 1056. I got four minutes. So uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because if I get into somewhere else, I know I'll be gone for a minute. I'll be mm -hmm. on it for a minute. But other than that, I want to tell y'all I thank y'all. I love you. I appreciate y'all. You know, I'm always trying to share information as I do. But uh, now next week, I'm going to get on to uh, now I don't even know, I don't even know the, the um... oh man, I'm trying to think of a, 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 a title for it. But I'm, what I started off with is what I'm bringing next week, because I'm going to do it this week. But it came, this came. It looked like this was meant to happen, because this is happening, and it's two worlds happening right now. Either you of the righteous world or are you of the wicked world. It's up to you, because we're all living in the same world. But I'm here, you're there, or wherever you're, you can stand right next to me. Well, that person stand, that world could be evil for this person right here. I'm not trying to live evil. I'm trying to do the creator's word and will and way. But it's up to another person to step in that way if they want. So other than that, I always want to share with you that I am that Mikael in Daniel chapter 12, verses 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's me. Showing the holy people who they're really supposed to be. Waking them out of their dead beds, which is really in their heads. For all of you who living in the new, this is for you. I'm that same Mikael in Revelation 12, battling that red dragon where Satan dwell, who deceived the whole world but prevailed not, because the horn is blown without a doubt. This was prophesied for you to see that that Mikael is really me. I thank y'all for your time, your patience, your listening near, and your seeing eye. And what we're going to do is Smile, Israel, Adonai, Eloheinu, Adonai, Echad, Baruch, Shekebo, Vakuto, Yolam, Vahe, Hallelujah. Hear, O Israel, Yah, Father is one Father. Bliss be thy glorious kingdom forever and ever. Hallelujah. I know what I was going to do, but I, what I said I was going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So before we go, or as we get ready to go, we're going to do it like this. Hmm. Make sure when I do it this time. Okay, there we go.
Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, we got a little mix up going on here for, for a moment. There we go. Now, and why is this baby playing me? I tell you what, we we'll do it like this. Oh, there we go. Now, so y'all want to do this one more time? Speak on the young man. Speak on the young man. Speak on the young man. Speak on As I said, y'all, I said hi. It's been a minute. I got to start practicing it. So if I stop uh, performing it, I got to make sure I have it. Got to start practicing it. That's how I woke up saying it, y'all. And the secret of Repent for your obligations you owe to the Creator. Woo, y'all, it's been a long time since I did it. I got to start performing it because once I start getting out there and start doing it, I got to do it right.
And when I and that's just one of the songs. I got many other songs. Well, some other song. I got a whole lot. I got some I gotta finish. You know, I got the cross I gotta finish. I got um one I call um it's another song I call um Host of Heaven, right? It's one I call Host of Heaven. Um and my my um my hook goes um Sunday is for the sun god, Monday's for the moon god, Tuesday's for the god of truth, Wednesday's for the wind god, Thursday's for the god of thunder. Now the whole world will wonder about the things that we did and taught them to our kids, which we do. We taught, we teach our children. We, we're taught what we learn. We teach them to our children, and it keeps the cycle going on. As I was sharing earlier about the things that we come to learn is from our ancestors. Until we get it right, we will stay in the cycle of sin and going down that same drain. So other than that, I thank y'all for your time, your patience, your listening there, and your seeing eye. And uh to Nalian, I appreciate you say I'm in my I'm truly in my uh in my element. <laughs> thank you. Love you, uh love you, Queen. Love you and the Queen. Yeah, she upstairs. She hope she on. Uh got a few people say they was they they joined, but I don't see anything. But I sure appreciate everyone who came. Irene, my sister. Uh, so thank you for coming through and anybody else that came through. I hope y'all, I hope I didn't make myself look bad singing my song, but I mainly did that even though I didn't get the whole thing on the second one on, uh, on Zoom for YouTube because YouTube be messing my stuff up. I'm going to call you right back, Irene. I ain't done yet. I ain't, I ain't done yet, sis. I'm going to call you. It might be my sister Florine. I don't know, but I'm going to call you right back as soon as I get off. Other than that, I thank y'all for y'all time. Your patience, your listening there, and you're seeing that. Oh, let me get first things first. Where you at? But I'll forget you. Clubhouse. Where you at? Hold on. You just be on here all night recording. Are you still up? Still there? We gone. All right. Got Clubhouse. Clubhouse is gone. And Zoom, which will be YouTube, uh, the information is in the uh, description, Pres not prescription, description. So look in there, check it out. I'm going to have you on YouTube in a few moments once it loads up. Mm.